A young widowed teacher named Odile is fleeing the city of Paris in June 1940 with her children, Philippe and Cathy. Driving out of occupied Paris, they join the mass exodus fleeing southward to the countryside when a German air raid destroys their car. This causes them to break away from the crowd and escape into the woods with the help of a teenager, Yvonne. Wary of the strange teenager, Odile asks him about the rest of his family, to which he simply replies that he lost them during a similar air raid more than a fortnight ago in Abbeville, and that he has been on the run ever since. While Odile continues to be suspicious, Philippe is quite taken by the older boy. Not only does he thank him for saving his family, but he also asks if they could stay with him for the night, considering his resourcefulness. To sweeten the deal for a reluctant Yvonne, Philippe cleverly offers his father's watch as a bribe. Having accepted Philippe's bribe, Yvonne stays awake that night, stoking the fire he built so the others can get some sleep. When they wake up to find Yvonne missing the next morning, Odile seems pleased to be able to join the others on the road, despite Philippe not sharing her opinion. Just then, Yvonne comes over to them and announces that he found an abandoned house that they can safely stay at instead of wandering the streets unprotected. Odile and her children follow Yvonne through the forest, and after quite a long walk through the countryside, they finally come across the house. When Odile expresses her relief to be able to just use the phone in the house to call for help, Yvonne seems to have other plans. He hurriedly climbs over to the highest window in the house and breaks it to let himself in. He then finds his way downstairs to invite the others inside, but he cuts the wire of the phone and also hides the radio before doing so. While the kids follow Yvonne to where he washes off outside, Odile heads inside the house only to find that the phone is disconnected. This way, Yvonne manages to get them to live a life of near isolation far away from the war in an abandoned house that has some supplies for sustenance and a fully stocked wine cellar. When Odile realizes that Yvonne is illiterate over a meal that day, it causes him to run away out of shame. Odile leaves the house with Philip and Kathy in tow early the next morning to look for a town or a village nearby. However, unsuccessful at finding any help in the deserted vicinity, they return to the house. Yvonne comes back later that night, and Odile notices that he has stolen a few random items from a dead German soldier. She is taken aback when she sees that there is a gun and a grenade among the loot. Yvonne distracts her with a newspaper he found, in which she reads about the latest news of the city falling to German troops. Yvonne suddenly falls asleep out of fever and exhaustion, and wakes up the next morning to find the gun and the grenade missing. When he asks Odile about it, she assures him that she will hand them over to him when he leaves them. Later one day, when Yvonne presents Odile with his catch of the day, she expresses her gratitude to him. Still bothered that she hid the gun and the grenade, he asks her what she did with them. She lets him know that she has buried them in the garden, and insists that she has to put her foot down in this regard for the safety of her children. She also tells him that while she doesn't want to leave since he has been of great help in ensuring they have food on the table, she will still consider taking her kids and leaving if he insists on having possession of the weapons. In the evening, Philippe finds his mother going through some photographs and letters belonging to the owners of the house. She informs him that they are a Jewish musician couple, at which he comments about the gratitude he feels to be peacefully living in their house even as a war goes on outside. Odile begs to differ when she says that the house makes her feel trapped as if she was imprisoned. The next day, Odile is left obsessively cleaning around the house, while Philippe joins Yvonne on his rounds through the surrounding woods to check on the traps he set the day before. Impressed by his expertise, Philippe asks Yvonne whether his parents were farmers. He retorts that he doesn't have parents and that he usually just lies when people ask such questions to be left alone. Philippe points out that nobody will trust him if he continues to lie his way out of tricky situations. Seeing his chance, Yvonne asks Philippe if he saw where Odile hid his gun. Philippe tells him that while he knows the hiding place, he has promised his mother that he won't tell Yvonne about it. Using Philippe's bribing tactic on him, Yvonne offers his father's watch back to him on the condition that he gets his gun in return. Much to Yvonne's frustration, Philippe turns down his offer claiming to be loyal to his mother. Despite standing his ground like he promised his mother, Philippe still feels bad about being called a baby, especially since he had begun to like and respect Yvonne like an elder brother. Odile then tries to get Yvonne to talk about whether his parents never sent him to school, because being left-handed posed numerous problems. He replies that he only learned to write his name, and then runs off to set more traps before she could say anything else. At the house, still angry and hurt after his conversation with Yvonne, Philippe tells his mother that she was right in not trusting Yvonne because he does not respect anyone, despite how hard anyone tries to befriend him. 
While eating the dinner Odile cooked that evening, Yvonne tells her about a friend of his named Jean Delmas who got sent to the Maitre Reformatory when they got in trouble once when they were drunk. This prompts her to ask him if he has been interested in girls. He replies that he was interested in her and would like it if she was his wife. A shocked and flustered Odile is left kindly laughing at his sudden confession. Having established something of a friendly relationship now, she patiently teaches Yvonne to read and write over the next few days, even while his left-handed self struggles to keep up. While Yvonne is out one day, two soldiers fleeing from the army, Georges and Robert, find Odile staying in the house on her own with her children. Instructing Philippe to stay with Kathy, Odile tries to find a way to get the soldiers to leave. When Yvonne returns with their catch for the day, Philippe hurriedly tells him about the guests. He also says that they have weapons and that one of them was standing by the window without his clothes on. It is only after Yvonne points out his stupidity that he realizes that the two men can very easily take advantage of his mother as there is nobody to stop them from having their way. In the house, having lied about Yvonne being her eldest son, Odile has offered his room to the soldiers to freshen up. There, Robert finds Yvonne's belongings and confronts Odile about her son stealing from the dead at which she feigns ignorance. Meanwhile, Philippe and Yvonne stealthily enter the house through the back door. Getting to his room, Yvonne quickly realizes that the things he stole are missing, implying that he has been found. He concludes that Odile is not the only one in danger, but these soldiers will most likely report him as well. In a rage, he rushes outside and grabs an axe, despite all attempts by Philippe to stop him. But when he overhears Odile's peaceful conversation with Robert, he understands that his axe won't help him. Abandoning that plan, he turns to Philippe instead and pleads with him to get him the gun for their safety. Philippe disagrees with handing the gun over to him and offers to use the gun himself. At this, Yvonne storms off in frustration and helplessness, informing Philippe that he won't come back until the soldiers leave. Odile goes in search of Yvonne outside, but returns when she doesn't see him around. While Philippe didn't believe in the worst like Yvonne, he is still wary of Robert joining them for dinner. Yvonne returns in time to hear Philippe singing a German song in an act of bravery, but he doesn't enter the house. After dinner, Robert informs Odile of the armistice he anticipates and advises her to return to the city instead of living in forced isolation here. She helplessly replies that life has changed a lot for her since her husband died early in the war, and now she doesn't have a lot of hope of finding family and friends back in the city. She finds it surprisingly easy to tell him about her recurring nightmare associated with her husband and realizes that it is probably because of her relief at finally conversing with an adult. Seeing how she trusted Robert with her story, he also shows her a picture of his family before heading off to bed. Odile is still outdoors, hoping for Yvonne to show when she finally spots him. So great is her relief at seeing him again that she embraces him, and the two then make love with each other until satisfied. Their bliss gives them both a semblance of happiness in the isolated life they created for themselves. When Odile tells him that Robert thinks the war will soon be done, Ivan bashfully reveals that he purposefully kept the truth from her as he didn't want to lose her. He then promises to return at dawn when the soldiers leave. However, he is brought in by the police the next morning, who claim that they caught him looting a nearby abandoned farm. The police also inform Odile that they think he escaped from an institution with three others. When they ask her why she was living in an abandoned house, she replies that she and her children met Yvonne when their car was burned down, and he helped them find a place to stay. Eventually, Odile is made to leave the house and is instead placed at a refugee camp with Philippe and Kathy. A policeman asks to speak with her there one day. He informs her that the boy they caught has been silent ever since and refuses to even give them his name. The policeman asks if she knew anything about him considering she let him live with her children, but she denies knowing anything about the boy. The policeman then tells her the boy matches the description of a certain Jean Delmas who had escaped from the Maitre Reformatory a while back. It is only when Odile asks when he would be released that the policeman informs her that he took his life the night before. Saying so, he takes his leave. Philippe comes looking for his mother and asks if she had news about Evan. Hoping to save her son from heartbreak, Odile lies that Evan managed to escape prison and is far away from trouble at the moment. Thank you for watching, my friends.